black holes are complicated. But we can do something really cool with this idea of escape velocity. So just to recap, if you have an object near the surface of a planet or a star, it doesn't really matter, or any location, really, and you give it some velocity, it's going gonna, it's gonna to move, and then it's going to come back down. Right? It's going to come back. Uh, but at some point, it's going to have enough energy to escape. And that's what escape velocity is. So we already, I've already calculated that. It's pretty easy derivation. Um, so let's just say uh, the system consisting of, of the, the planet, we're going to start with the Earth, and a mass is my system. Then there's no work done on that system, right? There's no external forces acting on that. So that would be a change in kinetic energy of the system, which is the Earth plus the mass. But the, the Earth doesn't really move plus the change in gravitational potential energy. So kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Uh, potential is negative g, mass of the Earth, mass over r. So if, if I go from here, position one, to an infinite distance away at position two, I can say zero is k2 minus k1 plus u2 minus u1. Now, add an infinite distance away, it's gonna get, it's just gonna escape. So it's gonna be an infinite distance away and stop. So that means the final kinetic energy is zero. And uh, we know that the potential at that point is zero because as r goes to infinity, this goes to zero. So now I have uh, zero equals negative k1 minus u1. Let's put in our values. Negative one half mv escape squared uh, minus this, so plus g mass mass over, over the radius of the earth. We're starting with the radius of the earth. Uh, so now all I have to do is just add this to the other side. One half mass velocity squared equals g m m over r. The mass cancels. I can multiply both sides and take the square root. V escape, not squared, is the square root of two g m over r. So we count. We did that. We calculated that. But now, what if I have instead of a ball, what if I have light? Light. Light travels at the speed of light. So C is about three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So let's put that in here and find out how big. So you'll notice here that as I get a smaller and smaller planet, as R gets smaller, the escape velocity gets larger. At what point would the escape velocity be equal to the speed of light? That's what we want to solve, and that's the Schwarzschild radius. The Schwarzschild radius. Okay, so I have v. I have c equals three times ten to the eighth meters per second. V escape is the square root of two g. I'm just going to call it mass over r. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be the Earth. And now let's put this as c. So we square both sides. I get c squared equals 2gm over r. If I solve that for r, I get r, I'll put rs, is equal to 2gm over c squared. And this is the, see if I can spell it, Schwartz, Schwar, Z, S, child. I think I did it. Radius. I almost misspelled radius. And we're going to calculate that for the Earth. But this is the size the Earth would have to be if the mass did not change, such that the escape velocity would be the speed of light. And if the escape velocity is the speed of light, so here we have our black hole, and I'm going to put Rs, then if light can't escape, then it, it doesn't escape, and so you can't see inside of it. So that's why it's black, right? Because I'm saying things about black holes that are pretty bad, because black holes are pretty complicated. I know that. But... One of the reasons we say they're black is because light doesn't escape. So let's calculate how uh, big the Earth would have to be, how much you have to crunch it down uh, to, to get a black hole. Because you can make a black hole out of anything if it's small enough. And that's what this is. So that's kind of cool. It's fun. It's just fun, right? So let's say the mass of the Earth is, what, 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. Uh, and then G is 6.67 times 10, the, that's a 9, 10 to the negative 11th Newton meters squared for kilogram squared. Uh, and then C is the speed of light. Now, I, I want to do, I want to calculate that. I'm going to put in my values. I'm going to do it in Python. But I also want to calculate the density. Density. 
we'll say rho is mass over volume. But if it's if it's a sphere, then the volume is going to be uh, the volume of a of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. Is it four? Yeah, that's right. Four thirds pi r cubed. So I calculate the r, I can calculate the volume, I can calculate the density. And I'm not going to put it all as one equation because I don't really care. I'm just going to calculate all that stuff. And then we can see what happens. And it'll be fine. And then we can do it also for the sun. Um, in the sun, we're just going to change the masses. You know what? 1.99 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. Okay, let's jump over to Python. And remember, this is just for fun. It will be on the test. No, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. It's not on the test. Okay, so I have g. I have the mass of the earth, radius of the earth. Uh, I don't need that, the mass of the sun. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, on the speed of light. C is three times 10 to the eighth. So RS is gonna be equal to two times G times the mass of the earth divided by C squared. Let's print that. RS equals RS, and that's in meters. Let's just see what it says. Okay. so. 8.8 .8 millimeter radius. So you could like fit it in your hand. That's how small it'd have to be. Now let's calculate the density. That's the fun part. So the density, so let's calculate the volume. V equals uh, 4 thirds times pi times RS cubed. And then rho equals ME divided by V print density equals rho, and that's kilograms per cubic meter. It's gonna be something ginormous. Yeah, two times 10 to the 30th kilograms. So just, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, now let's see how much we'd have to compress the sun to make it a black hole. So all I have to do down here is to change this to the mass of the sun, uh, and then we'll calculate the density also, mass of the sun. Yeah, so just run that. So that one, it's still pretty small, right? 3,000 meters, three kilometer radius, so six kilometers across. It'd be, it'd be, that's pretty small, but I couldn't hold it in my hands. Uh, and it would still have a density that's just crazy out, uh, enormous, doesn't even make sense. Okay, so it's just fun uh, extension. I think that that is a fun extension to the idea of escape velocity. That's it.